Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Garu and welcome back to this brand new video for the week 9 challenges in Fortnite season 9. And today we got ourselves a brand new challenge which is gonna be visit a solar array in the snow, desert and the jungle. So I will be showcasing all the three locations in this video. But also if you guys want to complete all your week 9 challenges then make sure that you guys watch this video till the end. Because after I showcase all those three locations I will be helping you guys out with all your other week 9 challenges. And guys Fortnite and Stranger Things are doing a collaboration together. So if you guys are excited for the brand new free challenges and rewards make sure that you guys go ahead and drop a like on this video. Because I'm super excited to see this collaboration happening. And while you're at it go ahead and hit that big red button which says subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Because with Fortnite and Stranger Things there's going to be brand new free challenges challenges and free rewards so i will be helping you guys out with all your free challenges and helping you get all those free rewards so be a part of the notification squad and never miss any uploads on fortnite challenges and yeah if you guys would love to support me even further you guys can use my supporter creator code in the fortnite item shop by using my code real dash garu so thanks to each and everyone who's using my code so yeah with that being said let's get in the game and let me showcase all the three different locations where you guys can go ahead and visit a solar area in the snow the desert and the jungle so let's get into it so this is gonna be the first location where you guys can go ahead and visit the solar array in the snow so i want you guys to go ahead in a team rumble game or maybe in a solo game but if you guys want to do this in one single game i suggest you guys to go ahead in a team rumble game and follow this gameplay what's going on in the background and drop at frosty flights and as you guys can see over here there's the airstrip and there's the airport hangar and exactly behind that is gonna be the solar arrays which could be found in the snow so just drop over here and complete your first location now this is gonna be the exact minimap location where you guys can actually find this thing if you guys are getting confused just drop at frosty flights and go behind these airport hangars and you guys will be done with your first location now as i've said before if you guys want to do this in one single game and if you guys get a really good circle in team rumble we'll be going over to the second location which could be found inside the desert so just go ahead and take a hamster ball from these airport hangars and then just keep on moving because all you guys got to do is take the hamster ball and go over to this you know big sky platform because from there we'll be taking that sky platform and going over to the slipstream to go into our next location and trust me we can actually do this in one single game if we have the best circle possible and and to be honest if you guys get a really good circle even on solos then even then you guys can go ahead and complete this challenge so i'm just gonna exit the hamster ball for now and then just go on top of the sky platform because we got to get the maximum altitude and from here all we gotta do is get inside the slipstream which is gonna be over here. So yeah, just drop over here and get inside the slipstream and then just let it go, okay? All you guys gotta do is get till here at this point. Okay, so from here I just used the slipstream and now I'm heading toward the sky platform which will be located right over here. So just go ahead and use it and the solar array is literally gonna be next to Paradise Palms itself. So let me just go ahead and glide down over here. As you guys can see over here, that is basically the John Wick's house. And exactly in front of it, there's going to be the solar arrow, which could be found in the desert. So I'm just going to drop over here and showcase this location. So as you guys can see over here, this is going to be the solar arrow. So just go ahead and drop over here. And you guys will be done with your second location. So this is going to be the exact minimap location where you guys can find the solar array in the desert in front of the John Wick's house. So if you guys are getting confused, there's going to be paradise palms and exactly in front of it. There's gonna be the John Wick's house and in the center of it there's gonna be the solar iris so you guys can just pinpoint over here and then you guys can just glide down and complete your second location. So once we're done with the second location we'll be going over to the third location which could be found inside the jungle. So from here you guys can either go ahead and take the sky platform or you guys can go ahead and take all the rifts which could be found inside paradise palm. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a rift because from here I will be going over to the location which could be found inside the jungle. So go ahead and use it and then all we guys gotta do is go ahead and use the slipstream which will be found exactly in front of Mega Mall. So it doesn't matter if you guys take the Rift or the Sky Platform. You guys will nonetheless reach the Slipstream which is going to be inside the Mega Mall. So just in case if you guys do take the Slipstream inside the Mega Mall. I want you guys to go all the way over here. And then take the zip line over there. I'm just going to go ahead and take the zip line, But it's just going to be the same way for both the things. So go ahead and use the zip line, And from that Expedition Outpost we're going to go ahead and take a vehicle. And from there we're going to go over to the final location. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the Drift Road from the expedition outpost and i'm gonna go over to the location and this one could be found kind of at the edge of the map so you guys got to be quick and it doesn't matter if you guys are inside the storm the challenge is still gonna count and yeah for this one i want you guys to go all the way near sunny steps and as you guys can see over here it didn't take me even that much amount of time so just keep on using the drift boat and use the boost and then go over to this place which will be located behind sunny steps 
And exactly over there, there's gonna be the solar Aris. Okay, so we are finally here at the solar Aris because this is gonna be the last location where you guys can go ahead and complete this challenge. If this video helped you out, please go ahead and drop a like on this video and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because every time Whenever there's gonna be a new Fortnite challenge, I will be helping you guys out with them. And if you guys need help with the other Week 9 challenges, then keep on watching this video. Because I'll be helping you guys out with all your Week 9 challenges right now. And yeah, this is gonna be the exact minimap location where you guys can find the final location for the solar area. Which could be found inside the jungle. So you guys can just pinpoint over here and glide down and complete your challenge. Now the next challenge is gonna be quite an interesting one. And it's also gonna be a tough one. But again, this is gonna be the easiest way on how you guys can go ahead and complete this challenge. The challenge is gonna be... Deal damage to an opponent within 10 seconds of landing from a volcano vent. So basically, the volcano vents that could be found near the pressure plant area. So I want you guys to go ahead in a Team Rumble game. But if you guys are watching this video when the challenges just dropped in, make sure that you guys go ahead in a solo game. And then try to complete your challenge. Because everyone will be trying to go ahead and complete this challenge at the same time. And I've actually managed to go ahead and complete this challenge myself before the challenge even came out. And as you guys can see from the clip, what's going on in the background, I went ahead and I did 200 damage within 10 seconds of landing from a volcano vent. So this is gonna be a pretty simple challenge if you guys are doing this in a Team Rumble game and if you guys get the perfect circle. Now we'll be moving over to the next challenge which is gonna be eliminate opponents in different name locations. Now, if you guys don't know what a different name location is, it's basically the names inside the map which has a name on it. So it could be the block, it could be the Jung Junction, it could be Haunted Hills, it could be Snobby Shores, Frosty Flights, you name it. Any place which has a name on it is gonna be a name location so you guys gotta drop over in these locations and get some LMs and it's that simple. And if you guys go ahead and drop at this place and if you get an LM, it won't count. And we only gotta go ahead and get five different eliminations. So it's gonna be a really simple challenge, especially if you guys are doing this in a Team Rumble game. And the week nine challenges are pretty simple. So I'm gonna go through them as fast as I can to help you guys complete them the fastest way possible. The next challenge that we got is gonna be deal headshot damage. And we gotta go ahead and deal 500 damage and we are gonna get ourselves five battle stars to complete this challenge. Now, if you guys are wondering how to get headshot damage, it's pretty simple. And for this challenge itself, I'd suggest you guys to go ahead and play maybe a duo game mode or maybe a squads game mode with your friends so that if you knock someone down, you guys can go ahead and get your heavy sniper out or maybe even a really good weapon and give them some headshot damage as soon as you knock someone down. Now, if you guys don't have any friends, you guys can join my Discord. The link is gonna be in the description. There's a lot of wonderful people over there. So you guys can just join in, make some new friends and play with them. So make sure that you guys are playing duos or maybe squads with your friends or maybe the new LTMs which comes by. And if we have the headshot only LTM coming back again, then make sure that you guys go ahead and complete that challenge over there because a lot of people will be going for the headshot. Now, the next challenge is gonna be even easier than this because it says over here, use a Chug Chug or Chug Splash in different matches. And we gotta go ahead and use them in three different matches. And it's actually gonna give us five battle stars so if you guys want to complete this i'd suggest you guys should do this in a team rumble game and then just use the chug splash because there will be a lot of supply drops coming in with those chug jugs or the chug splash so you guys can just go ahead use a chug jug finish that game and then go inside a new game again and then complete that challenge in that way and again, if you guys are trying to do this in a solo game, duo game, or maybe even a squad game, that also works out because because finding Chug Splash in those game modes is kind of easier, but finding a Chug Jug is kind of tough. So if you guys want to complete this challenge by using a Chug Jug, then I'd really suggest you guys to go ahead in a Team Rumble game and complete your challenge over there. So yeah, moving over to the next challenge, we got ourselves another simple challenge, but this is going to take you five different games to complete this challenge. It's a really simple challenge though, okay? The stage number one is gonna be get an elimination with a common rarity weapon. Now, if you guys don't know what a common rarity weapon is, it's basically the gray weapon so you guys can go in any game modes and get an elimination with it and you guys will be done with this challenge. Now, coming into the next challenge, which is gonna be get an elimination with an uncommon rarity weapon. Now, this one is gonna be even simpler than that because if you guys don't know what an uncommon weapon is, it's basically the green color. So if you find any weapon which is green in color, maybe the green pump, the green SR rifle, the green burst SMG. You guys can pick any one of those weapons and get an elimination with it and you guys will be done with this challenge. Now coming into the stage 3, which is gonna be get an elimination with a rare rarity weapon. Now if you guys don't know what a rare weapon is, it's basically gonna be the blue color. So if you guys get a blue pump, blue assault rifle, blue burst SMG, you guys can pick any one of those and complete your challenge by getting an elimination. Moving over to the stage 4, it's gonna be get an elimination with a uh, epic rarity weapon. And the epic rarity is basically the pink or the purple color. So you guys can go ahead and pick up a heavy sniper which is in that color or maybe you guys can go ahead and pick up a purple scar and then complete your challenge by getting an elimination. And if you guys are trying to you know, find yourself some epic weapons then i suggest you guys 
as you go ahead in a Team Rumble game. Because when you're opening that many chests, you guys will definitely find something good from it. Now, coming into the next stage, which is going to be get an elimination with a legendary rarity weapon. If you guys are trying to get yourself an elimination with the legendary rarity weapon, then I suggest you guys, again, to go in a Team Rumble game. Because when you open the supply shops, you're going to get a ton of infantry rifles. You're going to get, like, grenade launchers, RPGs. So, anything which is legendary which is golden in color, you guys can use that and complete this challenge by getting an elimination with it. Now, coming into the next challenge, which is going to be set chest, at least Laguna or Happy Hamlet, and we got to go ahead and open seven chests, so I'm going to showcase the best locations where you guys can go ahead and complete this challenge. Option one, you guys can drop at the ship and try to complete that challenge, but if you guys want to be kind of sneaky, you guys can go ahead and drop at this location. And over here, as you guys can see, that there's going to be three chests, which is going to spawn, so you guys can go ahead and open this chest. And you guys will be done with three of these locations. Now, I don't want you guys to stop because the next location for the chest is actually going to be in the small little island behind these, you know, small little barrels. So, go ahead and destroy this barrel and open this chest. And you guys will be done with four of your chest locations. So, if the battle bus is super far off from Happy Hamlet, then I'd really suggest you guys to go inside this shop, which is going to be over here. And inside this house, there's going to be a lot of chests. Trust me on this. So, go ahead and open this chest first. A lot of people don't go for this chest, so just go ahead and break this tent open as well. This is kind of like a secret one, so go ahead and break it open and open that chest. So you guys are done with two of these locations. And we only got to go ahead and open seven chests, so you guys can definitely go ahead and open a few chests at Lazy Lagoon. And then come at Happy Hamlet. So go ahead and open this and then just climb up on top. You guys can also use this chest, but I always use this method to you know, kind of go faster. Because just in case if someone is racing you for this chest, then yeah. Just be fast about it because then you guys will be done with four chest locations. If you guys found this video helpful on the week 9 challenges, I want you guys to go ahead and drop a like on this video and hit that big red button. Which says subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Because every time, whenever there's going to be a new Fortnite challenge, I will be helping you guys out with them with the easiest way possible. So make sure that you guys always tune back in on the challenge to you know, check out on the challenges. There's also like some new challenges coming in for the Stranger Things and the 14 Days of Summer challenges. So don't miss out on those videos. And yeah, my name is Garu. And if you guys need help with the other Week 9 challenges or the 14 Days of Summer challenges, then make sure that you guys go ahead and check out this video which is showing up on the screen right now. And that's going to help you out with your Fortnite challenges. So yeah, peace out.